Hello champions and welcome back to It's Donnie Wani Time. Donnie Wani is here today to do one of her recipes. So, as you see, it has something to do with fish. So if you're interested in seeing all what I'm doing today, then just keep watching. Okay champions, alright, so today we are going to do blackened catfish. Yep, blackened catfish. And it's very simple. You only need two ingredients. One of them happens to be the Zatarain's blackened seasoning. Now, I do put together my own seasoning for making blackened fish. But to keep this recipe simple for you guys, this is something that you can get in Walmart. Um, and the seasonings are already put together. So you just need your seasoning, you need butter, and of course your fish. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, trying to see if we record. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to need to melt your butter. Because this is what the seasoning is going to adhere to. Okay, and you're going to need some type of brush or something to apply the butter to your fish. So, we are just going to get our handy dandy brush and just brush on the butter. Okay? This is something you want to apply your butter generously. And you want to do it on both sides of the fish. Okay? So, we're just going to go ahead and get this butter on this fish. Now, I don't eat fish. My husband, I don't really eat seafood at all. My husband is the seafood person in our family. And, of course, my children eat it, but I just, I just don't like seafood. But I learned to cook it because I am in the minority of people that don't like seafood. Okay, so now we've got that side done, and we want to flip it over and do the other side with the butter. Okay, so we're going to do that. And I hope y'all are having a wonderful day, night, morning, whenever you happen to be watching this video. But this is something that's really quick, simple, and easy. And it doesn't take long. Okay, so now that we have the butter... On the fish, I need something to wipe my hands. Now we're gonna take our seasoning. Now let me know down below if y'all like. I said I'm trying to keep this quick and simple, cause a lot of the seasonings people may not have in your home in their home already. But this is just something they sell in Walmart. It's already ready to go, and you just want to generously spread it all, pour it all on the fish. Okay, on both sides. Like you did, you buttered the fish. Now, like I said, I do have my own recipe where I put together this season, my seasoning for blackened fish. If you're interested in knowing what the seasonings are that you will need for it, just comment down below and I can just let you know. But to just keep it simple, We, I just, you know, purchased the one from Walmart. And as you can see, the butter, you know, you may have to add a little more butter to the other side. But you want your seasoning to be uh, you want your seasoning to be generously applied to your fish. Okay? Now, the key to making blackened fish is to have a hot skillet, preferably an iron skillet. That is the key. And as you can see, this butter is starting to harden. This is something you have to really, you need to work with it fast, but it's okay. It's all going to be the same thing. All of it is going to be marvelous. Okay, so now that we have all of our seasoning on, now we're going to move on to our skillet to get it hot. Oh, 
got so much stuff on my fingers. Oh my fingers. Okay, now the key to making blackened fish is to have your skillet extremely hot. Extremely hot. You do not need a bunch of oil. Now you do see oil in my skillet and that is just the oil that I have whenever I use my iron skillet and I clean it up after I'm done using it. I always spray some oil in it and I store it in my oven so that it doesn't rust out and it always has oil in it. So it always stays seasoned. I'm sorry. So that oil that you see is just what was in the skillet from when I seasoned it after the last usage. I am in a currently heating up my skillet. I have my hot, my eye on the stove on high because like I said, you're only going to cook your fish about one, one and a half minutes per side to get it blackened. It should be done at that point. So as soon as my skillet is hot, I'll be back. It should to be continue. pretty doggone good and ready because as you can see, it's got smoke coming off of it. So now. We're getting ready to add the fish. And like I said, you're only gonna cook it about one and a half, one to one and a half minutes per side. Okay? And a lot of times I just, ooh, I just, uh, we recording? Yeah. I just take and I add it, what's in there, the bottom, and just kind of put it on top of what was in the bottom of the pan that was pretty much uh, butter and seasoning. And as you can see, that butter. Yeah, it's almost about ready to be flipped. As you can see, that butter made enough. That's what's going to really blacken is the butter as it cooks. Okay? And my husband, he loves... Now, see there? And we're going to just do it on the other side as well. I'm going to take some of this butter that's left on this skillet. Put it here because I'm going to have to blacken that a little more. But this is simple, guys. It's the simple. It's a simple recipe. And like I said, the key. Okay? The key. And then sometimes I have a press. And I'll just press it so that it'll kind of, you know, cook through. But if you don't have a press, that's fine. You don't have to have a press. It's just that I just, I have one because I, I use it for a lot of different things. Um, but you can just cook it, you know. Without the press. Oh, excuse me. But the press kind of like presses it down. Now, I don't know if y'all are familiar. If y'all know this, but you can also make blackened chicken breast as well. I have made that too. Like I said, I don't eat fish or seafood. So, well, I eat shrimp every now and again, but that's it. So... Sometimes I will blacken my chicken breast when I make the fish. Okay, now at this point, it's just about. Sometimes I turn it over. These are some, ooh, some pretty thick. <coughs> Excuse me. Catfish fillets. And I want them to be done. So I'm going to flip them one more time. Ooh. And then after that, they ought to be done. Okay? So that's it. 
Once I finish with this back, I'll put it on a plate and let you guys see it. I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the finished product, champions. Blackened catfish. So, like I said, if you want to know my recipe for seasoning, then put it in the comment below. Otherwise, <laughs> this is a crazy video, but that's my life. Here is the blackened seasoning you can buy at Walmart to use. So, until the next time, champions, I hope you have a most blessed day. And smooches. Oh, yeah. And thanks a lot for tuning in, watching, and subscribing. Check me out on Instagram at It's Donnie Wani Time. And have a most blessed day.